It's screamer time! Ah! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Voyager class, Starscream! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As always, Earthrise for Cybertron, his name is Starscream Transformers! On this side of the box, we have the lovely, beautiful, gorgeous Earthrise artwork. Love that artwork. Earthrise for Cybertron, bloody, bloody, bloody on this side of the box. We have Starscream, all star screamy and pointing at star screamy stuff. He is a Voyager class, a class A Voyager, a Voyager class A, a class A via head on a class A Voyager. Up top, Decepticon symbol, Warp Cybertron, bloody, bloody, bloody. On the bottom words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory products, just this, that, the other things and stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And of course we get the uh, little decoder here for the box insert. And just like with grapples insert, uh, there is no... Uh, there's no planet. Starscream doesn't get a planet on his. There's nowhere. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh well. And moving right along here, we have Starscream, the other Voyager in this first wave of Earthrise, and uh, one of the only Decepticons in this wave also. There are not a lot of Decepticons in this first wave of Earthrise, but here we have Screamer and his classic Earth Jet mode. It looks quite, quite nice. Now this figure is pretty much just basically an upscale um, of the old Classics Universe Seeker mold, which is fine. I mean, they, they did, um, you know, make some improvements to it. There's some extra little tricks here in the engineering. You know, obviously there's a lot of new molding going on as well, so not like an exact uh, replica of it, but, you know, once we get down to transformation, you're going to see a lot of things that you recognize here, so but let's get in close here, so we can take a look the details here in the jet mode. You got the nice transparent orange plastic there for the cockpit section. You can see a little seats molded in there as well. And that's the typical Starscream color palette there. Gray, red, white. Septicon symbols there on the wings. Got the blue fins with the red and the white. Got the thrusters there in the back. And there is the top, there is the bottom, it slides as flying things should, hooray for slidey flying things, so there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with his wavemate grapple. Here he is with the Siege Tetrajet Starscream. I love having these two side by side now, I think that's really cool. And here he is with the old universe deluxe Starscream. So you can see how they look side by side there. So there you have that. Whoosh. And last but not least, here he is with leader class Optimus Prime. And can he fit in Prime's trailer? Can he? Get it! Get it! No, that's that. That's 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 just a that. No, that's just a bad situation. Just a bad situation all around. But there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he just includes his null rays, which look all null ray as null rays should. And just done. And that gray plastic and there are a couple places you can plug this onto if you want you can plug it into the traditional spot which is right under the wings you got ports right there so you can have that going on if you want to or if you want you can plug them in right here on the sides of the body of the jet as well so you can have that going on or if you want to you can even plug it in on this port back here have that be a thing? If you want it to be a thing, you can even plug it onto the, the, the tail fins here. I mean, hey, you can do that too. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. There's even a port up top, so you can you know, plug it up there if you want to. Hey, again, yours. Do what you want with it. Do what you want. But that is a pretty much it for the jet mount. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Hey, hey, you can get a good spin out of him. So, first thing we need to do is remove the null rays, put those off to the side. 
and we can begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is come to the wings and just kind of pull them out slightly. There's a little tab right there. Just undo that and all of this will just come up and over like so. Just pull that out a bit, oops. You don't wanna pop them off. Just pull them out a little bit, up and over like so. And that will free up the legs. First we need to bring up the, uh, the crotch plate here. We want to open up these leg panels. There's a tab right there. So once you do that, we can then extend the legs. I'm going to split them like so. Now the back of the knee here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little tab that goes in here. So just make sure that that tabs into place like so. And just bring this up, that will tab in right there. And then just flip up this fin. You want to basically engage the ankle tilt to untab this section here. And then you can just bring this over, which in turn will bring up the heel. And then you bring up his toe. And there you have a leg all done. Second fast is just like the fast again. Make sure that tab on the back of the knee is tabbed in. Close that up. Flip up. Tilt. Bring around. Bring up. And there you have the leg all done, bringing his crutch flap. So here's not exposing himself. How dare you, Starscream, you rude little thing you. Anyway. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this whole back assembly here and just bring that back like so. Bring out the arms. Then we're going to just undo this whole nose cone section here. Bring that up, you want to rotate it 180 and then collapse it down on this double hinge. Like that. And then we can bring the body back up and make sure everything sits in place as it should, just like that. And then we can take the nose cone here, just unclip it, and bring it down against his back, like that. And we're at the home stretch, we just got to do the arms now so for the arms this top section here is going to just rotate up on tab and rotate up like that and then you extend the arm here you can see this little tab just goes into this groove here so just undo that and then that extends like so and then you can bring the forearm down to lock that in place bring the hand down and there you have the arm all done second mass is just like the first so just bring that up. This side's a little bit stiffer. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Bring that up. Undo that. Extend it. Close that back up. Bring the fist down. And there you go. And we just bring in his null rays. And they just plug into his shoulders. To get the full effect. And there you go. There you have Screamer in his robot mode. And it's a nice G1-y looking Screamer, as only a G1-y looking Screamer can look quite nicely done. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Very nicely done head sculpt too. Do quite like it. Uh, his eyes are done in red. If we can get the light in there, see? Nice red on the eyes, silver for the face. That's quite good. Got the little turbine nipples going on there. Which are painted like in a gunmetal gray. You can see some nice little detail throughout the body, throughout the forearms. Looks quite good. And moving down the legs, some little bits of blue. Got some more of that gunmetal gray there on his toes, his big old feet. And more of the back. Pretty clean transformation, just has the nose cone hanging out back there, but other than that. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. So you get some wiggly waggly. He can look up a little bit, look down some head, can do a full 360. Uh, arms can rotate. Of course, the wings will kind of get in the way, but the arms can rotate a full 360. Can move in and out. You have a bicep rotation. You have uh, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, there's nothing at the wrist. They don't rotate. They do move up at this weird angle if you need them to, but that's pretty much all the wrists do. Uh, nothing at the waist. Uh, you can move this out of the way for leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. This hinge on mine is quite stiff too. Um, outward that far. Yeah, thigh rotation. 
you have a bit over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And uh, the toes can move down. You can kind of move the heel down, but you have to move the whole kind of tail fin section now with it. But you can move those down if you want. And you get your ankle tiltage. And the wings back here are on hinges. So you can take these and kind of angle them however you want. I like to have them just a little bit angled back. But you can do all kinds of that. A quick little update on the heels here. The heels do actually move independently of the uh, of the fin assembly here. It's just that it was like really tight on mine, but I finally got it loosened up. So yeah, they actually do move independently of the uh, of the fin section here. So yay, things. And of course he is bluish compatible. And as always, we bring in my favorite effects parts, Jetfire's effects parts. Now he doesn't have a whole lot of bluish points. Not many at all, actually. He has one on his uh, on his forearm here, and that one doesn't quite hold. So that's kind of an unsuccessful, that's kind of an unsuccessful bluish right there. But you can plug them into the bottoms of his feet. So he can bluish, he can bluish off into space. And granted, you could plug it into, you know, Ports here, you can kind of get blushed in the side of the knee. Ah! Oh my foot! You know, you have that going on. If you want, plug it in there. I don't know. Things and stuff you can do. But of course, we can take them and plug them. Don't fall apart, blush. Don't fall apart, blush. How dare you, blush? You can plug them onto the ends of his null rays here. That works out quite well. Now we can get a big old double. A screamer bluish. It's a screamer bluish. You can have that going on if you want to. And of course, he does have the ports on his shoulders, ports on his forearms here, ports, 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 port on his back, port on the wings. So you can plug on your weaponizers if you want to. So, hey, all things and stuff you can do if you want to do them. And that's basically it there. And now for Gump Arrasad. Here he is with a. Uh, Hoist and uh, cliff jumper, so you can see how that works out. With wheel jack, with his wave mates, grapple, with prime, with siege, megs, and sound wave. See the classic trio there. With Siege, Starscream. So you can see how that works out. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with the old Classics slash Universe Starscream mold. So, there you go. So there you have Starscream, and yeah, he's a cool figure in my opinion. He's basically an upscaled, updated, you know, classic Seeker mold, but it works! It works! It looks good in both modes. Transformation is nice and smooth. He's fun to mess with. Overall, just a really cool, updated G1 Starscream, and I am quite happy with him, so... There you go. Now, these figures are starting to pop up in stores right now, so check your Targets, check your Walmarts. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Earthrise Voyager Class Starscream, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Ah, I'm finally here on Earth! Hmm. Seems as though Lord Megatron hasn't arrived yet. Huh. You know what this means? I am the new leader of the Decepticons! Look, I know this isn't going to last long. I'll take whatever small victories I can get, okay? See? See what he did there? He rised. Rised? Is that right? No, I think it's... Rose? Rose sounds right, but I think it's right, but it, but it sounds wrong. I, or is it risen? I, wait a second.
Oh, whatever, you get what I'm saying. Nobody gets what you're saying, Prime.